hey friends and welcome back to a, another hair tutorial here on my channel putting up with the pawpaws in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how i created yet another baseball cat wig this time i'm doing it a little bit more budget friendly for me my ladies out there who are frugal individuals such as myself so stay tuned so you can see what i did to create this entire look Now, before we go any further into the details of this tutorial, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you come on and join the family, join the Pom Pom fam. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, Bessie, how you doing, love? Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. We greatly appreciate having you back again. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. I'm going to let this video ride out because... I just don't feel like talking today. So I hope y'all get the gist of what I'm doing. I will take a pause in the middle of the video to kind of explain what I did and my techniques. And at the end, I'm going to show you several looks that you can wear and create with this headband or baseball cap wig. All right, so I just wanted to pause. So I am now on the second pack of hair. So I did, I, did, I used all of the, the longest length and now I'm on the second package, which I believe was like 26 inches. So these little like thread seams right here that are on the dome cap, because this is the front of my dome cap. Um, this is pretty much my meeting point of where I want to stop pretty much when it comes to uh, laying my tracks in the half moon. So I'm pretty much just making a U, a big like U around the entire dome. So as you can see, 
this is what I have so far and this is what I have left of that middle packet so it probably I probably used about half of that middle packet so far I'm gonna lay down two more tracks so that I can come to uh, the meeting point of these seams on both sides and that's gonna be my stopping point then I'm gonna come to the back and I'm gonna lay maybe three strips right here down the middle and that's gonna cover up for you know when you wear a baseball cap you have that opening in the back we don't want to see this uh don't cap we want to make sure we see the hair so i'm gonna lay three strap uh strips just going straight across i'm not gonna do a big u going across i'm gonna do them just straight across once i completely lay my two extra tracks going right here i'm gonna lay three just right here pretty much right there in the middle of the head so it can cover up that opening on the baseball cap and it will look as natural as possible once i am done with that i'm going to allow this to uh dry overnight because um yeah i don't want the tracks to like accidentally like come loose as the glue is trying to dry so we're going to give this a overnight dry and then the next morning we're going to see the completed look All right, if you cannot tell already, I'm in love with it. I really am. The long hair is just like giving everything. I haven't done anything with this length. I don't usually do anything long. This year I have been feeling the long hair. Usually I am a bobs, fade and wave individual, but long hair is just really just pushing up the alley for me. So I do want to stand up so y'all can see the entire T of the wig and how long it is. So yeah, it's pretty long. It is pretty long, right at my booty. So of course, my favorite part about protective styles is the versatility. I am not one that's, that is going to put a hairstyle in and it's like a one and done. I can't do much with it other than wear it as it is. So with this, of course, you can have plenty of looks because since we glued the hair to a dome cap rather than gluing it onto the baseball cap, we have a whole lot more range in motion as far as what we can put with this wig. So of course the hats are interchangeable. I went out and bought this cute like silk wrap scarf just for this video because it really just caught my eye. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. So I do wanna show you what it looks like. 
see there it is with a silk wrap it's kind of giving me like that bandana vibe but you know bougie like i don't know what it is about a silk wrap but it just gives me like a bougie i sleep on a satin pillow vibes for some reason but i do have uh, created a uh, baseball cap, the versatile baseball cap before on my channel. This time I just wanted to do it a little bit more budget friendly because the first one that I made was with human hair, which human hair could be a little bit more expensive than synthetic hair, but you're still getting the overall effect with both the human hair and the synthetic hair. Now this of course is the synthetic. This is 28 inches and 26 inches of like a body wave in the 99J color. And this entire packet I believe was like $30 for the entire thing give you a, like versatile looks you can dress this up to make it look bougie and outfitable and you can also dress it down to make it look casual now of course I will be making more of these wigs because these are a total look for me like I love wearing baseball caps especially when I do not feel like doing my hair so this is a very quick solution for me and it's very casual and fun fitting so I will be creating like box braid, a box braid one. I still want to do one of those. I still want to do one with um, probably locks and even with the Senegalese twists, like passion twists and all that. Like this is an endless solution to uh, so just to any to anything, and you can really like do so much with it with doing so little. But thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial here on my channel. I greatly appreciate y'all if you stuck it out for the entire video. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.